In this section, we will take a closer look at the appearance and features of North Korea's first military spy satellite, which is a polygonal cylinder covered in gold foil and fitted with solar panels. This satellite, which has been named Military Reconnaissance Satellite No. 1 by the North Korean state media, is the result of a long-term project that was announced by Kim Jong-un in 2021. According to the official reports, Kim inspected the satellite on May 17, 2023, and approved its future action plan. He was accompanied by his daughter, Ju Ae, who has been seen more frequently in public with her father. The satellite appears to be similar in shape to the one that was shown on a screen behind Kim when he visited the National Aerospace Development Administration NADA, in April 2023. However, the photographs of the satellite have been partly blurred, making it difficult to discern its exact dimensions and specifications. The gold foil that covers the satellite is likely to be a thermal insulation material that protects the satellite from extreme temperatures in space. The solar panels are used to generate electricity for the satellite's operations. The satellite's main purpose is to conduct military reconnaissance over South Korea, Japan, and other countries that are considered hostile by North Korea. The satellite is expected to have a camera that can capture high-resolution images of the ground and transmit them back to North Korea. The satellite may also have other sensors and instruments that can monitor radio signals, radar emissions, and missile launches. The satellite's orbit and lifespan are unknown, but it is likely that it will be placed in a low-Earth orbit that passes over the Korean peninsula several times a day. The launch of the satellite will mark a significant milestone for North Korea's space program, which has been developing since the 1980s. North Korea has previously launched four satellites into orbit, but none of them were confirmed to be operational or functional by outside observers. The last launch was in 2016, when North Korea claimed to have put an Earth observation satellite into orbit but it was widely seen as a cover for testing a long-range ballistic missile. The launch provoked international condemnation and sanctions from the United Nations Security Council. The launch of the spy satellite will also pose a serious challenge for the regional security and stability, as it will demonstrate North Korea's advancement in missile and space technology. Japan has already announced that it is prepared to shoot down the rocket used to launch the satellite if it poses a threat to its territory or allies. South Korea and the United States have also expressed their concern and urged North Korea to refrain from provocative actions that violate UN resolutions and undermine peace efforts. However, North Korea has insisted that it has a sovereign right to pursue its space program for peaceful purposes and self-defense. North Korea's spy satellite launch is a provocative move that has alarmed its neighbors and the international community. The launch would violate UN Security Council resolutions that ban North Korea from using ballistic missile technology for any purpose. It would also demonstrate North Korea's growing capabilities in developing weapons of mass destruction and delivery systems. The launch would pose a threat to regional security and stability, as it would enable North Korea to spy on its rivals and potentially target them with nuclear or conventional weapons. The satellite could also interfere with the communication and navigation systems of other countries, causing disruptions and accidents. The launch has prompted Japan to prepare to shoot down the rocket if necessary, as it fears that the rocket or its debris could fall on its territory or waters. Japan has deployed missile defense systems and naval vessels around the expected flight path of the rocket. Japan has also urged North Korea to refrain from the launch and abide by its international obligations. The launch has also drawn strong condemnation from the United States and South Korea, which have been conducting joint military exercises and strengthening their nuclear deterrence strategies to cope with North Korea's threats. The US and South Korea have warned North Korea of serious consequences if it proceeds with the launch, 
and have called for more sanctions and pressure on the regime. The launch has also raised questions about the effectiveness of diplomacy and dialogue with North Korea, which has repeatedly reneged on its promises to denuclearize and halt its missile tests. The launch would undermine the efforts of China and Russia, which have been calling for a resumption of talks and a balanced approach to resolving the nuclear issue. The launch would also challenge the new Biden administration, which has been reviewing its policy toward North Korea and seeking coordination with its allies and partners. The launch would test Biden's resolve and credibility in dealing with North Korea, as well as his ability to balance competing interests and priorities in the region.